the Quokka from the Perf Mint, an interesting and different and also new coin series that only started last year from arguably the world's best production mint for quality. Is it any good though? Let's have a look in nice close 4K detail and talk about this wonderful coin. Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a warm welcome to you all joining me for this week's edition of In Focus Friday, the show where we take a good close look at cool things made of silver or gold. This week we are once again sponsored by Europa Bullion, a big thank you to them for sending me this lovely Quokka coin to showcase for you all here. It's not something that I would normally have bought, so it's really good to be able to showcase it for you guys here. And if you are interested in buying this, then Europa Bullion have got some in stock. There's no affiliate bonus codes, there's no quid pro quo here. It's just simply an opportunity for you guys to go and purchase it from them if you were interested. So the links are down in the description below, go and check them out, and a big thank you to Europa Bullion for their sponsorship. Now, the Quokka is, as I said, something that I would not normally have purchased for my own personal stack. I'm a big fan, though, of the Perth Mint Silvers. I got started very early on uh, with a lot of Perth Mint stuff, like the Kookaburras, the Koalas, the real kind of established uh, animal series coins from the Perth Mint back in about 2015 when I got started. But very quickly, I realized that there were far too many coin series to collect year upon year. And whilst Mrs. Backyard Bullion and I were very much in favor of at the start of this whole journey and process, getting in and you know collecting a whole series, it was very quick and obvious to me that it was not possible to like, backdate all of the different you know koalas and kookaburras and everything that the Perth Mint were creating. They were wonderful, they were lovely, uh, but we also felt that there wasn't a great deal of point of starting kind of, you know, 10, 15 years already down a particular series, as nice as they were. So we kind of stopped that. Now, the Perth Mint, of course, looking to produce new coins and new designs year upon year, have come out with a vast amount of new products. And they've also introduced brand new coin series, as well as this Quokka. There's things like the Emu and the Swan and various others as well that have come out. This Quokka, I think I'm pronouncing that right, um, was first produced in 2020, so last year. And this is the second edition in there. Now, for me... I did not buy it when it first came out. Uh, it wasn't necessarily something that I was targeting, something that I was really interested in, but I can still recognize the Perth Mint signature quality. It's really very well made, very well designed. Uh, now, I've not ever seen a Quokka, but I understand that they are very, very cute little animals. They're basically, for those that don't know, found off two uh, small islands off the western coast of Australia, uh, Rotnest Island and Bold Island. And uh, they are basically fan favourites amongst tourists, and a lot of people want to take selfies with them. Uh, but um, here we have them here. They almost look like perfect little uh, chipmunks with their swollen cheeks full of nuts and things like that. So uh, very, very cute animals. And of course, Australia, you know, with this hugely diverse fauna and fauna, has this massive pool of different creatures to draw upon for making interesting coin designs. Now, in terms of quality, you cannot doubt that this is very, very good indeed. I am a big fan of all things frosted finish. And when you have a frosted background like this with the actual... What I also like is that the little baby quokka isn't as reflectively shiny as the adult. Uh, so it distinguishes it from it because otherwise you would potentially lose it just in the background of that adult quokka. Um, but really nice with that frosted finish background, contrasting to uh, the actual animal itself in the background there. You can get a bonus little lizard on the front here as well. Um, it, it's nice, it's very good. Whether it's just the animal or whether it's just me, it does look a little bit cartoony. Um, whether that's by design or by accent, I don't know. So I feel like there are probably better Perth Mint animal series. You just can't sometimes beat the pure elegance of things like the, uh, the, the kookaburras or the koalas. They really are absolutely stunning. On the reverse here, we see uh, good old Queenie in all of her glory. Now, there's actually a little speck of something that I've noticed on this coin. Uh, I'm taking out the capsule and, and having a look here with my bare hands. It's not something I would recommend to you guys. Certainly what I've just been doing there is not something something I'd recommend. It doesn't look like it's a scratch. It looks like it's a little piece of dust or dirt that's settled on the coin. Um, but 
you know, that could well have happened just now when I took it out of the capsule. I didn't actually look too closely with it in the capsule. But other than that little mark, I have to say, like, production quality, again, is exemplary. We've got here Jodie Clark's portrait of the Queen. Not a massive fan of the frosted finish of, like, the Queen's dress and then the shiny finish of her on this side. Uh, that's questionable in my opinion. Um, it's just not, it doesn't look right. It just doesn't look quite right. There's something about that that's off. Uh, it's very pretty, like the light playing off there. Look at that, it's almost like a disco ball. But I don't know, that, that could have been done better in my opinion. That's not for me. Uh, Reeded edge, which is always good, uh, especially when you're holding things with bare hands. It makes things a lot easier to hold. So there we have the Quokka. It's a very interesting coin, something a bit different, something that I wouldn't necessarily buy for myself, but it is a, a, a premium coin. In fact, we haven't talked about the premium nature of it, so, and the mintage, 15,000 as a mintage, so pretty low mintage, which is great. Uh, you always want sort of the low mintage on these things. It is a premium coin, though. Uh, they come supplied in capsules. Uh, they also come supplied in rolls of 20 within a sealed capsule bag, and uh, if you buy a massive box of them, it's 100 of them. Um, so very well secured, very well packaged, and that will ensure the quality of the pieces as we go. Um, otherwise, I think I'm going to give it a, a I'll probably give it a six or a seven out of ten. But that's perhaps because I'm not the biggest fan of the cartoony look and design to it. But certainly from uh, you know from the quality control, brilliant. From the um, you know absolute legendary performance and history from the Perth Mint, it's certainly got something going for it. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this coin down in the comment section. It'd be really, know, uh, really interesting to know if you guys have got one, or if you plan to get one, if you like it, if you don't. Now, next week, we have got three coins to choose from. The Hawksbill Turtle, the Who from the Royal Mint, and Giants of the Ice Age, the big old chunky rhinoceros. So let me know as well in the comment section which of these three you would like to see next time here on In Focus Friday. Otherwise, that is it from me. Have a fantastic weekend ahead. And once again, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.